Do we have any interesting maps uh, with my name in it? Well, for one, I said will struggle on this one. How so? Oh, is it like you can't see over anything? I, I think so, yep. Nothing sees over, but there is a thing called, some guy called Kira Flagship. Will, I believe, cheese the challenge? Isn't that right? Oh, and there is, wait. Ah, oh, no. There's a platform, but you can't see over it at all. Sigh, however. You can see everything. Let me do a second reactor back here. I think I need more pump power. I sense some leaking. Oh, 49. That was close. So, stroll, you say? Okay, hang on. I might need to use some Psy abilities here. Uh, I'll use a stun here. Hopefully I'm good for 54. Oh, no. Okay, okay, hang on. I got this, I got this, I got this. Two carrier flagships. Why am I going grape also? You can't get two carriers and... Uh, a sub, I see. Oh! I got this now, guys. I got this. Druid of the Jungle. Easy win. I guess I have money to do two Druid of the Jungles? Sure. We're already looking better, I think, thanks to those Bramble Vines. Yep, much better than Extra Reactor. This is the round I died on. We are good. No ability used at all. Jungle Druid's OP, everybody. Uh, Hang on. Okay, well, I guess they're not wrong when they say I would struggle. If you, I guess, would consider this a struggle. Let me sell this for... Crap. Jungle's bounty better. Jungle's bounty better. There we go. Easy. I think this one's also the same thing, but just with all water. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 29 fails? Okay, I guess we gotta give this a shot. Gonna be the first of 30 players to beat it. Would I do deflation, or would I... I'll do deflation. I don't think there's land this time, unfortunately, right? No. That's why I brought Brickle. Okay, how would I beat this then? Two care flag ships? Like, oh no, that's not that's too much money, unfortunately. I can only get two of these without Brickle. Is that fine? Well, no, it's not fine, because I'm dead to lead, lead blooms now, sadly. The creator was able to verify this uh, without using power, so surely it must be beatable in some capacity. We can do one camo, one lead popping. Oh, I can't. Can't mean by hotshots. How about this? Brickle and two of these. I think Brickle's ability... If you get high enough level, we'll be able to work on giving the the towers camo and popping leads at some level. For now, though, we have to tank everything. See level 5 here? It still doesn't work in camo, unfortunately. So, I don't know. I can use it for the leads here, at least. Now? See that? Oh, crap. I don't have the ability again. Maybe I have to use it really, really early on 37. Maybe it's only possible on normal easy, since that's that was what I was verified on. That is true, that is true. I just hope I'm not playing an impossible challenge here. I'll use it early, and then this gets all leads, and then I have it again before I die. Nine lives, that's kind of risky. Um, I'm dead. Oh, I just saw a placement, guys. Wait. Well, that changes everything. I thought there was no land, but there is. Oh, unfortunately... Hitbox. You can only base a small tower, so I can't cheese with the Druid anymore. Because Druids are big, but I can do an Alchemist. Why am I doing Deflation? Standard. So I guess I gotta be Alkstar and tank as many lives until I get, I don't know, Reactor on the other side? That is really sketch, though. I'll get larger potions. That's pretty much all the good stuff I can get. Or Acid Pool. No, I think I'll go Acid Pool. Uh, I'll do a 102. And that, again... Beats all but the other lands. Uh, I don't know. I'm not even close to getting reactor. So that's not going to work. Huh. B Senator is a bigger placement, so it does not work. What the hell do I do? Again, neither does Wizard. Nor any other hero, because apparently they're all medium hitbox. The, uh, the heroes. That's interesting because, like, the default was set to easy standard, which means it was being an easy standard. But deflation does sound like it has a better shot, because I can buy the ice platform immediately. And then now, what do I do with it? Uh, for one side, we can do an ODS with Alpbuff. And then a Jungle's Bounty. I like that combo. Like this, this, this. Sounds uh, amazing. Let me try to think about why this wouldn't work now. What round would this, with these towers not be it? Round 60? I don't know. ODS is good, good mob damage. You'll see. I didn't even see the mob show up, so I think we're good against that. I feel the jungle's bounty may not be as good because it... There's five lanes. 
43 was not good. I guess if 48 is getting this close, 49 is gonna kill me. Let's let's see. I'll use Psy Stun. That is... Mm, I don't know. I still have money I can spend. On nothing. 51? Or 50, rather. Crap. It's GG. Hmm. And right, my Druid doesn't have camo, so now it's GG for real. It's fun at better defense. This might be weird, but how about Comanche? Can I afford this and a camo village? I can. But this is all I can afford. There is no way a single Comanche can possibly solo up to around 60, right? Find out here. It's good, but I feel like I get shafted during some round if I don't have the three planes up. Because they spawn in pretty quickly if any balloon gets far. But it is doing better than a jungler's bounty so far. I'll give it credit for that. 49. Here comes the ram wave. Okay, it only, it only spawned two of three. There's actually a good chance. Yeah, hang on, there's a good chance. Hold up now, hold up. Okay, I think we found the solution, GG. I think for round 60, if it's a problem, we can just go for Monkey Pirate, but... I think I can just, like, Mob Shuff it. And Comanche just works all the way, right? Let's see. Yep, Mob Shuff, Permastall. Psy Stun, as if it does anything. GG. First victory out of 30 players. Again, nice challenge. Like, making, being able to make a challenge out of uh, just a standard game mode. You'd love to see it. Now, I, I still can't help but think that, how is this possible in easy mode? Because, again, that's how the creator beat it. So I'll spend a couple more minutes trying to see if it's possible or not. I think, uh, from testing, Brickle Sea Mines, uh, do they attack through? They do, they do. But the problem with this is that, as you see, there's only, there's only one lane. So even if I had the Alchemist up there, there's still two out of five lanes that won't get any pops on them. But I guess that gets us a little bit closer. I think because the Alk gets two lanes first, we start with that and then we'll buy Brickle. After round three here, right? Yep. I don't think it matters where we place her. The mines just don't have enough uh, range attack to attack. Actually, I think I saw it pop one balloon on the fourth lane, but that was because the explosion was exactly on top of the uh, other balloon. Otherwise, again, zero damage on it. Also, for those wondering, uh, the hero booster is disabled when you uh, quote-unquote verify the map. So it's not that. Not that Brickle's levels would do anything. It's not powers either. In the meantime, I'm, I'm gonna keep moving my tech bot around to see if there's any possible hidden placement. But I don't think so. So we're gonna make it, like, just barely further than, than before with Brickle. Total assault cost would be about 1,400. That, that's still... 1,600 is still not enough to get anything that I can see over. So what is up with this? Unlikely, but maybe there was an out-of-bounds placement for the water towers that allows it to see, like, the first lands. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Nope, showing all four corners and none of the subs seem to attack. How about with Intel? If there's any shot, not that either. I doubt it's Brickle on the top side either, but look at this. Brickle on the top side actually gets two of the lanes instead of the one. Probably because I think it's coded. It looks like lane two is closer to the side than the other second closest lane on the bottom half. Again, this sadly does not do anything. We still die round nine. Ninja doesn't do anything either. One last go around here. A dart monkey cannot see over. Tack needs a maelstrom, which is too expensive. Ice needs arc to wind, which is even more expensive. Glue needs glue storm, which is even more expensive. Starp can't see over. Ninja can either. Al can, but we've already tried it. So I think I've pretty much run out of options. If anybody wants to give this map a shot on easy, then please, please do so. Cause as it stands, I I can only see this map being beatable on deflation. Uh, you just there's just no tools here that allow me to beat even the easiest around. So if you have any uh, groundbreaking discoveries, then please uh, let me know in the comments below. All right, I'm gonna need some cleansing after that hell of a map. So this map I found through my Discord. It's a recreation of BMC, a Bloons Monkey City map. And honestly, if if it's not Ocean Road, I'm all for it. See, so guys, there's so many great maps you can recreate that's not just Ocean Road. Or, I don't know, three times around. So many good ones, including this one. Looks absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10. Again, you can find a link to my Discord in the description or in the pinned comment. And in there, you'll find a channel with the map submissions where, uh, that I'm currently browsing through. This one was also from there, and it is beautiful. It is a drawing of the big plane. The Isip plane itself. I feel like the only thing it's missing is... Uh, I don't know, there's, not, there's nothing on top of the plane. I think just add that and the cherry on top, and, and it's golden. Also, um, very creative use of tires. I think it's they made this entire plane part 
out of tires, it looks like. And the pedals, too, for the forward firing cannons. That's definitely an interesting way of creating it. Now, another good way of discovering good maps, like, while finding different ones every time I notice, is if you just sort by the last 24 hours, people are, like, constantly creating good maps every single day. Okay, maybe this first map is not a good representation of that, but... Nor are the first six, but you'll see some really good ones here. Like this one, for example, main menu, but from a different angle. Very, very high up. Like this one, too. Pizzle Drizzle's map. Not a map from a different angle, but very, very pretty. We got Border Patrol here looking very realistic. Cube World. And the Balloons main menu. Yep, someone actually made it from scratch and actually did some pretty creative things to put in place of, like, icons. Like, the settings, trophy, button menus, or barrels. Uh, their account is even flagged, salt in the wound. There is an object limit. Are these all pets? Tell me these are pets. Oh my god. My eyes. It burns. What is the object limit? There has to be at least a thousand of these foxes on the map. So many foxes that without even placing anything down, I can feel the lag. Okay, that's enough. This one here is also a quote unquote recreation of BT5 map. BT5 Tunnels Remastered. Looks lovely. Honestly, even better than a BT5 Tunnels map. Although it doesn't take much because I guess it, it didn't look that good anyways. BT5 Tunnels. Uh, this one though, very creative way of making balloons quote unquote go under. Uh, just by covering the logs with giant trees. Because uh, I think based on a Reddit post that I saw this, uh, they said they couldn't really uh, recreate hills. Uh, at least with the current um, settings of the map editor. Hey, they even added like water too. In case we need that to help out. That's really cool, though. Uh, snipers cannot also see under- Nope. As you see, Line of Sight is blocked under all the tunnels, which makes sense. I guess Walmart here, I might as well be this map of chimps mode. I guess two darts, sniper, and then we get Etienne. You know, the funny thing is, back in the day, they classified this map as expert. Even though if you count the time that balloons go under the tunnels, it's one of the longest maps in the game. So based on the length of the map alone, it, it, it could probably be classified as, like, an easy map. So it's not just BT6 that's had their map classification difficulties, like, messed up. Don't worry. Trust me, it's been going on for many games already. I think I'll try a different strategy this time around. Maybe a darling gun. It's able to shoot down pretty much all, all five tunnels. What would be really OP is, I think, if ground items like Spear of the Forest slash Jungle of the Druid had vines that worked under the balloons. I might try that just for, you know, if Rigos get under the tunnels, I think it's, it might be GG the way it's currently set up. Don't know if it's possible to see that or not. Uh, what if I just let, like, some blues get through, camos get through? I think they are regrowing under. Um, actually, no, no, they don't look like they're regrowing. I'm seeing blues come in and then come out also as blue blooms. Also, I am going to go for a bed strategy. I think if you average out based on the length of the map and the amount of blockers, uh, the true length of the map where balloons are actually visible is probably, I'd say probably closer to advanced difficulty, so... My guess, at least I would classify this as, like, a, an intermediate map. That's what I'm thinking. Let's just go ahead and get that jungle the druid now, just to see if... Are vines spawning in the tunnels or not? I don't believe they can, looking at uh, how this is going. Actually, no. I'm not seeing any balloons come out. I saw a lot come in. Druid probably spawned some vines in there. Yep, I, I see I see one really, really under there. See, see, guys, druid is already such a cheat code. Did they really need to... Buff it again this update. Well, I'm not complaining. Here's a Moab. Um, so you cannot code, at least right now it seems, uh, code mobs to go under the tunnels. But I think it's the same thing in BT5. You couldn't do that in TD5 either. And now they popped in. Come on, Druid. Please clutch up. Nope. Actually, ooh. That last Buckshot came a clutch. Now I don't have infinite range on Buckshot, though. Okay, I think after this round, Bez is ours. Nice. Unfortunately, this spot still does not see the first lane. That's not great. I did my alpha buff. Okay, it looks like alpha buffing or giving this thing range will allow even its lifespan to shoot further. I guess I never looked too closely into that, like, in detail. Because I never really encountered that situation until now, I guess. But that that's really helpful. You think the Bads is good enough now to sell it to Baz? I guess we'll see. I'll do a 420 alpha buff to make it a bit better. Now, even though mobs are visible over the tunnels, uh, the way we have our towers right now is such that I don't think any of them can actually uh, shoot the mobs under the tunnel. Unless it's the flying tower with, like, Etienne. Like, then the UCAV would definitely, definitely cheese the challenge. Like, watch here, for example. Don't mind my UCAV. 
soaring over the trees, soaring over the skies to take him down. Ladies and gents, just about the easiest save up of my life. $60,000 is a... So that pretty much confirms it. This map is definitely a not... Not expert difficulty, that's for sure. And Bez now, and... That's GG after I get a mid for it. If the Laser Bez soloed a water park with like 50k left over that time, then I'm pretty sure we don't have to buy anything to... Beat the rest of this here, is that right? Yep, everybody, freest chimps run of my life. 98 here is also... Not a problem, right? Actually. Alright, let's slow down here a little bit. They actually made it to ton of four, but I think we're good now. Yep. And if the FTTs are a problem, I'll just UCAV. But I don't think they should be. Laser best with good single target. And just like that, $70,000 left over on chimps. Cool stuff. Again, I am loving the map editor right now. One of those things that you don't realize how great it is until it actually comes out. So hope you're enjoying it too, and stay tuned for more.